Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I have a tutorial for you guys today on this really fun Christmas set. We're going to be using the Fusion Winter Collection. I had featured this collection in a vlog, so if you want to see swatching it out, that would be a good uh, video to watch for it. So in this video, we're going to go over all of the different shades in the collection. I'm also going to show you something really interesting because it actually ties into a clear jelly stamper stamping collection too. And then we're going to move right into a tutorial and I'll show you how I came up with these nails. Let's get started. First step is keep warm. This is your true burnt orange color. I like that it has a bit of a red vibe. We also have good buying, which is a nice teal. This to me definitely gives vintage vibes. This yellow is fantastic for a nice mustard yellow and it applies really nice too. Serenade is a sage green, which is great because it's nice and popular right now. And this pink, I really like it. So delightful is a really nice vintage shade. I definitely get vintage vibes looking at it. This green is a perfect green for not just Christmas time, but winter as well. Moving on to the sparkles, we have Wonderland of Snow, which I'm going to show you how I like to use these type of shades. Toe tapping is my favorite one from the sparkles collection. I have used this a ton lately. Fireside, this one has a really nice like red but still see-through glitter vibe to it. And Kiss Me Good or Kiss Good Night, sorry, I could see definitely being great for New Year's. Really like comfy cozy. I would use this for ocean or mermaid type of nails too. And this green, I think, really ties the collection together. This is beautiful sight, and again, definitely looks vintage to me. I did want to show you guys briefly what the Clear Jelly Stamper Polish Collection that ties to the Fusion Color Collection looks like. Uh, so the Fusion Collection has six shades. The Clear Jelly Stamper Stamping Polish has uh, seven shades in it. So you do get one that is a little bit different. It's a dark blue shade that has like a tinge of gray to it. It's a really nice color too. But it's always fun when you have stamping polish colors that match the collections that you're using. So I'm going to use CGS 54. This stamping plate is another new release. It's a vintage type of one too. I am also going to use C65. This is a fantastic release this year. It has some great florals, uh, perfect for Christmas and winter nails. Taking some of the beautiful sight glitter, I'm going to apply this to the ring fingers of both of the nails. Now this is a great green, I think. I love that it has some darker greens in it, lighter greens as well as some gold. Next I'm going to use Serenade on the pointer nails and I love the formula of these creamy uh, colors. They apply so nice and the nice thing about them is if you notice like any shadowing or anything you can kind of just let it settle into itself and it'll work itself out completely i love this pink in this collection so this is so delightful and it applies again very nice and i thought this would go really good on the middle fingers one of my favorite ways to use these kind of see-through transparent iridescent glitters you guys know i love these um this one is wonderland of snow is to apply them as backgrounds for nail art to go on top of them so i'm just going to take a thin coat down i'm going to cure it and then i'm going to go in with these nice gold iridescent flakes and i'm just going to take a buffer brush like this one so it's got a really nice dense um head to it and I'm just going to drop it in the dispersion layer of the nails and this is going to lay nice and flat but also create a really fun dimension to this too. I'm going to encapsulate it in some gel, give it a file and then we're going to go in and do our stamping. I knew I wanted some beautiful poinsettias on top of those clear nails and I wanted them to just kind of sit a little off side here so that's exactly where I'm applying these but I do want them to take up the majority of the nail. That way when we get our top coat on top of it you're just going to see a little bit of that glitters poking through and and also this way, if you have customers or clients that don't like to see their natural nail bed, this works really well as a background for them to just put in uh, the stamping or art or whatnot on top of it. So you've got that really fun glittery base, but then you have some art on top of it. One of the reasons I like to wear gloves when I'm stamping is so I can remove images on the stamper that I don't need. Obviously I can do this on my nail too, but then I don't get polish on my nails. So on the pink background nails, I did want to do some Christmas lights so that Originally, I stamped the core down with that really nice dark green. It almost looks black, but it is a dark green. And then I went in and did the Christmas lights like on their own without stamping them individually. And it definitely didn't work. It didn't, I couldn't get it to line up very well and I just wasn't liking it. So I decided to stamp them individually and this worked a little bit better for the idea that I had in mind. And then on the background of the green nails, I went in with the presents. I thought these would be really fun with like a crystal cluster kind of in the corner. And all of the outlining that you guys are seeing, I'm doing in that dark green not a black and then on the green nails I'm gonna go in and do some crystal clusters I'm using some vintage pink as well as some rose peach crystals and on the green nail I'm gonna do the same thing but the crystal clusters are just gonna be at the cuticle instead 
And lastly, I'm gonna take some of Fusion's recent top glosses. I'm going to take this Eclipse color, which is a fantastic white shade, and I'm going to apply that all over the thumbnail and the pinky nail, and this will just give a really light shimmer to the florals on top of it. And then I wanted to show you guys the difference between that and just a regular top coat too, uh, so you can see how, what the shimmers would do for it. And I am gonna take some of that and put it on the ring finger too. Taking some of Jupiter, which is, oh my gosh, probably my favorite one from the entire launch of those top coats i am going to put this over top of the green and the pink nails now this is going to go over top of the image too and i'm not entirely sure if i like how that turned out i think next time i would almost do the matte top coat down first then do the stamping on top of that and then a top coat on top of that just so i don't have the glitters kind of on top of the colors like you guys can see here uh, but overall i thought this design turned out really fun it was really fun to incorporate the fusion winter launch with the clear jelly stamper stamper there's just so much I could do with it. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really liked showing you guys the collection a little bit after it launched here. Uh, that way I could tell you some of my favorite shades and how they applied and what I thought of them. But definitely comment below and let me know what you guys are thinking about the Fusion Winter Collection for this year too. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you in my next video. Bye!